Hi everybody, this is Father Moki Hino coming to you from the chicken coop at Good Shepherd Episcopal Church in Wailuku, Maui. Today is Thursday, May 2nd, 2024, and this is Chicken Chat. Our Bible study and our book study are on hiatus uh, because uh, from next week, Tuesday, May 7th through the 24th of May, uh, Dixie and I are going to be on vacation. So all of that will be on hiatus. The uh, next Bible study will be on May 29th. Uh, the next Chicken Chat will be on May 30th and the next chicken scratch uh, after this after tomorrow we'll have one tomorrow and then the la the next one will be on May 31st uh, we'll figure out when our book study is going to resume because we have finished uh, falling upward by Richard Rohr and we're discerning our next book so once that gets done I will let everybody know uh, so that you can join in Please remember that we do have uh, Zippy's tickets uh, for you to, uh, to procure from the church and uh, then sell if you would like or keep for your own use. The uh, tickets are $11 each and from each ticket a good shepherd gets five dollars so um, you can go down and get chili and cornbread and breakfast and all all of which we've done uh, we even did the portuguese bean soup uh, the other day and it was really really good so uh, please bear all of that in mind and then for a cup of cold water um, may has traditionally been uh, throw in the towel month and they just put out a plea the other day for more uh, towels and blankets and things like that so uh, the timing is just right. We had uh, at my last count anyway 90 people uh, come to worship at Good Shepherd in person over the weekend. I don't know what the count is for the virtual but it usually runs between 30 and 40 people so uh, we are v doing very very well. Uh, we had to have the service in the St. Matthew's conference room on, thir on Saturday because uh, I thought it was going to rain of course you know did all of that and it didn't rain go figure. Uh, then on um, Sunday morning, uh, like I said, church was very full, and then uh, Nana Maggie Evangelista and her Evangelista and her two sisters, uh, Nana Trinidad Basig and Manangadita Asadera, put together a fabulous uh, meal for all of us for coffee hour after the service, and we all had a really good time. And that coffee hour was to honor the life and legacy of Nana Maggie's husband, Pascual Evangelista. So uh, very, very, very nice and very, very touching. Uh, then the Philippine Nurses of America, the Maui chapter, made shoyu chicken for the Kaohana kitchen, and uh, they were all in there working very, very hard. So lots of stuff going on around the, <laughs> around the campus over the weekend, and it was great. I love to see the place full of people. I love to see the lights on in the parish hall at night when the 12-step meetings are in there. I love coming to work on Tuesday morning and hearing the Coptic church chanting prayers in their sanctuary, so it's just really nice. Uh, this time, uh, as we do every week, let's uh, take a moment to remember everyone on our pastoral care list and remember them by name. Let us pray. Irenio, Eric, Joni, Propagacion, Eliza, Tom A., Marianne, Nelly, Joyce, Ewell, Paula, Lydia, Velma, Jim, Bill, Judy, Lucille, John, Roxanne, Tom D, Teula, Ruth, Catalina, Maggie, Shirley, Cindy F, Dolores, Matt, Catherine, Robert, Jacinta, David, Michael, Jose, Lila, Gary, Jan, Lehua, Serene, Chat, Elizabeth, Ryder, Mercedes, Lisa, Marilyn, Ernesto, Randall, Marie, Dale, Rochelle, Chris, Alfredo R., 
Brian, Sandy, Cora S., Barbara, Charlesta, Brianna, Dan, Gabby, Lynn, Tomo, Kathy. Our God and our Helper, we turn to you in our times of trouble and prayer for strength. You are the healer of the sick and here by prayer. Give us the courage to bear the painful. Give us the faith to rely on your presence and give us the confidence to work so that we might aid in our healing. Amen. Thank you very much, everybody. You know, I thought it would be interesting. I, I don't know uh, how many of you are aware uh, that number one, a cup of cold water is a ministry not of Good Shepherd Church, not of St. John's, not of Trinity, not of Holy Innocence, not of Seabury Hall, but of the Diocese of Hawaii. And uh, so, um, and, and it's also an interfaith effort. I know the Honganji participates in making sandwiches. Uh, um, EL Congregational has come down to uh, help uh, every once in a while. So it's, it's really, really a nice ministry. Our contribution to the cause, Good Shepherd's contribution to the cause, is to provide a parking space for the van and also to provide a storeroom for all the supplies. So uh, that's in the St. John's room uh, here at the office. And um, I don't know how many people are aware that, yeah, we have dedicated space for a cup of cold water. And uh, you'll often come by during the week and see it very busy down there uh, because people are working in the storeroom, getting supplies ready and then loading them on the van to go out, which goes goes out three times a week now instead of one time a week like they did uh, before the fire. So it's really a good ministry and I'm, I'm really, really proud to be able to say that our contribution to the cause is to provide the storeroom. Having said that, a uh, cup of cold water uh, does have an administrator now and they are going to rent office space from us in the second story of our two-story building and also rent an additional parking space. So that is wonderful news and we're very, very pleased to have a cup of cold water, uh, such a vibrant presence on our church campus. Um, this coming week, uh, there are, are many, many interesting uh, saints, but I thought I would talk to you about Julian of Norwich. Uh, in, in our house at the, over at the rectory, we have a small uh, uh, icon of Julian of Norwich over one of our doors, and it says, all shall be well, and all shall be well, and all matter of things shall be well. That is her line. Uh, I also think, um, you know, she was a contemplative, so that means that she spent much of her life in prayer, which was interesting because when uh, we walked on the campus for the uh, taping of this chicken chat this morning, the Coptic church was uh, in, their, in their chapel and there were three guys in there just looking at a picture of Jesus that they had up and they they had been doing that for about half an hour and that that is an act of contemplative prayer and so Julian of Norwich was uh, one of these folk and she wrote a book called the revelation of revelations of divine love and like I said uh, she also said all shall be well and all shall be well and all matter of things shall be well but I thought um, this was uh, kind of interesting because it makes me think of all the little uh, chicks that we see on the um, on the property, you know, with the mother hens, of course. And sometimes we'll see just one chick all by itself with uh, the mother because only one of the whole brood has survived, right? So Julian describes. Um, it reminds me of this 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 line. She describes seeing God holding a tiny thing in his hand, like a small brown nut, but I'm thinking a small chick, which seemed so fragile and insignificant that she wondered why it did not crumble before her eyes. She understood that the thing was the entire created universe 
which is as nothing compared to its creator. And she was told God made it, God loves it, God keeps it. And I thought that was so beautiful. So uh, since we have so many little chicks uh, around the property, uh, we found one and we would like to name it Julian. Julian as the chicken of the week. So congratulations to you, Julian. Thank you for being chicken of the week. Thank you, everybody, for uh, attending. Uh, Chicken Chat will uh, resume on May 30th, and we will see you this weekend in church. We're still here until Tuesday. Take care now. Bye, everybody. Mm-hmm.